Hello, it's, uh, it's about 11 p.m. and I thought it was a quite easy job but it's, uh, it's a little bit harder. So I had a leaking on the oil filter housing gasket about here and uh, so I have to change it or it's cracked. I'm not 100% sure but I had to de demont it anyway. And uh, I already have a new one. So first off, don't just start uh, pulling this off because it has four bolts. One, two, one hose on the side, three and four. Uh, disconnect the hose when you, uh, when you, after you take out the four bolts because then you have more space to get a, a wrench on there to take off the hose so um, okay so let's start uh, with getting off the auxiliary belt only uh, here it was I believe a 16 mil and I put a drill bit in in, in here to fix fix it in the position so I can get uh, the belt back on easily. Uh, the alternator has two 30 millimeter bolts about here and one is through through the hole there and uh, after you have uh, taken those out you can, you can you can hit the bolts with a hammer a little bit and it will come out easier because uh, like most alternators, there is these things. You have to hit them a little bit back to get enough play to get it out of here. Uh, I also got uh, out of the way the, the turbo uh, hose. Um, seven mil down and seven mil at the top. And take it out on top of the car. Um, <coughs> Disconnect all the the wiring So I have I have it over here, so it's out of the way take off the the throttle body here three Torx uh, 30s and uh, When that's off um, Take out this one and this one this uh, these are also to Torx 30s and uh, pull it a little bit back like so so you can access bolt number number four which is about there there is four so four three two and one let me see if i can get a light so this uh now you can see them clearly and uh, once those four are out, take it a little bit away and pull off this this hole here. It's very hard to reach this um, clamp. <clears throat> While we are at it, um, get a new seal rubber ring for this one before you put it back. And uh, don't yeah, don't forget to put the. Uh, some buckets under the car because otherwise you're gonna have a very very big mess on the floor uh, yeah I'll, also when you take out the alternator please disconnect your battery I always just disconnect the negative so that's basically it so there is more to it than just the oil filter housing it's also the thermostat I believe uh, or whatever it is and the uh, alternator auxiliary belt uh, the uh, throttle body so yep also here's also one eight mil just to get this out of the way the dipstick and that should be it ignore this this was for the previous project i changed the gr cooler on the back of the engine 
you have to take out the dry shaft and stuff and the exhaust so basically just wanted to give a little heads up if you need any information or help I hope this video can help you with uh, removing the oil filter housing and cooling so thank you